Ground is broken on a new veterans memorial, but it wasn't easy. And tonight, the story of one of the soldiers behind the memorial and how he feels lucky to be here to see it. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has this week's street story. It took compromise and politicking to secure this land for the Seekonk Veterans Memorial, but the veterans behind it are used to fighting for what they believe in. When World War II was raging, 89-year-old Dave Humphrey was just a kid from New England fighting in France. Just turned 18. And there are bullets flying at you. Oh. Like many others, Humphrey came home with menacing reminders of what he survived, including this German soldier's bayonet. But the images burned in his memory are more startling. In 18, you're brave as a bull. But boy, after a few bullets go by your head, everything goes downhill. He's among several veterans who pushed and pushed for a memorial to be built on this piece of land next to the Seekonk Library. The ground's broken, and the ribbon cutting is expected on Veterans Day with the names of those who didn't come home to Seekonk inscribed there forever. It was the guys that didn't come back. Those are the ones that, that really deserve the, the honor. They just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You were almost at the wrong place at the wrong time a few times, weren't you? I only got hit once. Only. <laughs> There were also plenty of close calls with bullets and landmines, but it was a German mortar aimed at a schoolhouse that seemed to have Dave's name on it. I went flying across the room, my helm went one way, I went the other way, and I said, boy, that was close. And then I felt blood running down my arm. He was back on the battlefield two weeks later. And he hopes to be here as the ribbon is cut so that the names of the ones who didn't come home can be remembered forever, and the squabble to get the memorial built forgotten. You glad it's over? Yep. I just hope I'm around long enough to, to see it. I take everything day by day. Tomorrow never comes. But before these flagpoles rise here, Humphrey will be celebrating something else, his 90th birthday in July. On Newman Ave, in Seekonk, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.